according to, to Elon's paper, I think that actually what we see now globally or comparatively speaking actually strengthens the, the external legitimacy of Israel. For example, I have many colleagues who said in the past, oh, I'm not coming to Israel. I don't want to support the occupation. And now after Trump being elected and seeing what's going on in Israel, they say, who am I to judge Israel? Look what's going on in the US and in Europe. Okay, I'm coming to Israel. So I think, uh, uh, you know, Tzarat Rabin, but so I think what we see internally actually is uh, the, the legitimacy of Israel. Uh, so this is, I think, an important point. Uh, uh, just to uh, <clears throat> respond to Christina's point, uh, I think the referendum is a very special mechanism and, and a dangerous one. Uh, and, and what we see, actually, what you just mentioned in Romania, and if we compare it to Italy, is very interesting because nowadays referendum is actually used as a mechanism to protect the vertical separation of powers between the government and the people. So in Italy, the people that actually voted against the governmental change to the bicameralism, right? Uh, so it is the people that acted as checks and balances on government. I think this could be an interesting, uh, maybe, uh, route to, to battle uh, populism. Of course, on the other hand, as we've seen, sometimes we do not want to put minorities' rights in the hand of the majority in the referendum. So this is a risky business, but what I feel most, and you mentioned that in your question, is the flexibility of the, of the change mechanism, of the rules of the game. And I think in Israel, uh, as we see in Hungary, the fact that you have a dominant party or the, or the government controls the process, this is very, very risky because then you have a mixer of interests, constitutional interests, which are supposed to be higher interests and everyday politics. And what we see nowadays in Israel, and this comes to the Rings point, I think that actually in Israel we do see abusive constitution, not, of, not only of ordinary legislation, but also of the constitution. The, the, the dominant political party is abusing the basic laws, changing them sometimes temporary, sometimes ad hoc, simply for political convenience. And some of these changes are taking place in a day or a day and a half. Um, and this is very risky. And that is why I think that Israel, the Supreme Court, should adopt a more transformative uh, jurisprudence, more uh, trying to protect more our institutional constitution trying to make a better function of democracy. And that is why I think actually Israel should look more similarly like courts in South Africa and Colombia and India, rather than comparing Israel to Canada and, and, and the UK. I think that's where we, that's where we, we should be in, in, the, in the constitutional comparison. Do you want to work with Alex Stein? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so joining, thanking our speakers.